another amazing day in crypto today i want to talk about the three reasons why bitcoin is going to go up in value in the coming uh, few months and years uh, this is from a tweet by michael saylor the big bull uh, before i jump into uh, the main section of this video uh, let's look at the price actions today uh this is from bubble banter bubbles uh, all the greens are different crypto coins that have jumped in value we have ftd matic tia all these other coins which i don't know the name of hex of course then we have sol uh, we have xrp and the all the red color that are uh, went down in value that is bitcoin link mana and the others uh when you look at the fear and greed index uh of the market we we can see that the market is slightly greedy 69 uh, most of the time i don't buy any anything uh when uh the market is greedy i always buy at 30 or below 30 when the market is uh, fairly bearish so anyway uh according to michael saylor the three reasons are one a spot bitcoin etf uh, where you can easily buy 100 million worth of bitcoin in is one of them so where are we at the bitcoin etf of course we have seen a lot of companies filing for a bitcoin etf uh this is from kathy wood from ark invest uh this was this news was published around 4 hours ago let's look at what uh she has to say about the bitcoin etf is that the sec actually asked us questions i think asked us questions asked blackrock probably has asked a lot uh whereas before our filings were just rejected out of hand okay so th- so uh like kathy wood said the scc have started taking proactive actions uh in order to in the direction of getting these bitcoin etfs approved uh when major players like blackrock citadel uh fidelity everyone wants to be everyone wants their hands on bitcoin etf so we are going to see uh positive news coming from the sec uh not more than in two months uh so the second is the emergence of a system in which your bank will store bitcoins on your behalf and you will receive loans in return so this happens in majority of your assets like you can keep your house gold silver and all kinds of assets in bank and get a loan uh for your in return uh so that actually says that the uh, uh an asset is having a value so let's look at uh, are there any uh positive news uh, in terms of banks accepting bitcoin uh in return for a loan So this is from September 14th uh Deutsche Bank to hold crypto for institutional clients. So we have already seeing uh positive news coming in terms of uh, uh banks uh allowing institutionals to uh you know keep their uh bitcoin with the bank and get uh a loan in return. Uh slowly I am sure uh banks will also start other banks will also uh, follow through otherwise they would become uh, a bank of the past and third is that uh, the bitcoin will be able to write bitcoin according to its fair value on my balance sheet so earlier what happened was the american agency called as fasb uh, which is the financial accounting uh standard board they have voted saying that a new accounting standard should be uh, given to the uh, bitcoin so according to this update uh the crypto assets will be uh, accounted using the fair value accounting method so let's look at what uh 
what it is. It happen very often. And that is that the FASB, which stands for Financial Accounting Standards Board, recently announced that they are going to allow fair value accounting for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency on the balance sheet of companies. Let's see how it works. Yeah, so, so it's important to understand and 360 says that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is to be accounted for as an intangible asset. And what that means is as an intangible asset, you can only write down the value of the intangible asset as an impairment expense. So, so what happens is uh, in the earlier accounting rule, uh, Bitcoin was um, uh, announced as a uh, intangible asset. So whenever, so let's say if you buy Bitcoin for ten thousand dollars, and the price went down to nine thousand. Uh, you have to write it down, uh, write, write down the value of the Bitcoin to uh, 9,000 and show your expenses as 1,000. But the next day, if the price goes up and becomes, uh, let's say, 12,000, you are not able to uh, write it up or uh, add that um, uh, gain in your balance sheet. Uh, so this uh, stopped a lot of companies and institutions from buying Bitcoin and holding it on their balance sheet. Uh, every quarter, they don't want to have uh, a negative uh, balance sheet just because they were holding Bitcoin. Now that the FASB have updated their rules for holding Bitcoin, more institutions are going to hold Bitcoin in their balance sheet. So. These are the three predictions uh, that are done by Michael Saylor. Uh, almost two of them are already here, um, which is the Bitcoin uh, holding of banks holding Bitcoin and the new rule of fair value uh, writing up of Bitcoin. And the remaining one left is a spot Bitcoin ETF. So in a month or two, we, we will be seeing a lot of we will be seeing all these three things uh, factors coming into action and uh, we are going to see a lot of bullish moment up there so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe uh, i'll be bringing you uh, amazing news every other day so see you on the next one